largest wildfire in California history, the deadly Mendocino Complex fire, was finally fully contained this week. It started in July. Wildfires have burned about 7.3 million acres across the U.S. so far this year. That compares to an average of more than 5.8 million acres for the equivalent period over the last 10 years. Scientists are trying to unlock the secrets of how fires spread in hopes of keeping them away from people and property. As Carter Evans reports, they're adding new tools to understand a growing threat, fire tornadoes. At the U.S. Forest Fire Lab in Montana, they're fighting fires by lighting fires. We're understanding all the processes that go into understanding how a fire spreads. Okay, let's check it out. Research forester Mark Finney and his team have spent decades building a series of demonstrations that replicate real-world fire conditions out in the wild. Ten cameras, and they're mounted from every different angle. We do that just for documentation, but we also take measurements off of those cameras. Do you know how fire spreads? Well, we're getting there. Our intention is to understand the physical processes that lead to different kinds of fire behaviors. And in order to do that, we have to design experiments that can scale all the way up to the field scale. But in the last few years, most firefighters have told us that scale is growing larger than anything they've seen before. And this past July, the world watched something most of us have never witnessed, a fire tornado. This massive funnel of smoke and flames outside Redding, California, was about 1,000 feet wide and reached wind speeds of 165 miles per hour, equivalent to an EF3 tornado. So there were vehicles that were rolled and moved. There were large power line towers that were torn off the base and actually blown through the air. You've studied this stuff for a long time. Have you ever seen anything like that? No, I have not. So it's already starting the rotation. Yep, you can see wow. that's a pretty decent one there. Mechanical engineer Jason Forthoffer specializes in fire tornadoes, also known as fire whirls. As the hot air above the fire accelerates vertically, it actually stretches the air in, a, in the already rotating air, it spins it up into these really, really tight whirls and high wind speeds. And the fire is essentially fueling this phenomenon. That's right. We've seen these things last over an hour out in the real world. What are you learning here about them in the lab? We know enough to understand some of the ingredients that cause fire whirls, but we're not too close to being able to predict actually when and where they will occur out on the ground. Fourth offer says fire tornadoes, like this recent one in Canada that sucked a hose up into its vortex, are actually not uncommon occurrences. Smaller versions happen on almost every major fire. They're usually just far away from populated areas and TV cameras. It seems like these fires are getting bigger and bigger every year. Should we expect to see more fire tornadoes? Yeah, I would say just because it seems like we're having more intense fires and so the fire tornadoes sort of correlate with that. It's pretty amazing just to sit here and watch this form before your eyes. And that makes yep. the research they're like doing here in Montana even that. more critical to protecting property and saving lives. For CBS This Morning, Carter Evans, Missoula, Montana. It's beautiful what to watch in a lab. Yeah, yeah. Terrifying. Yeah, no, you're right. right. That yeah. picture was just terrifying. Yeah. At least, you know, they're tracking it and trying to figure out what we can do. Yeah. Somebody's on top of it.